Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about things that made me go I will always start these videos by saying just because they didn't work for me doesn't mean they won't work for you and vice versa. I have watched so many people giving out about products that I love and I have the rage and I'm like you don't know what you're talking about but that's just the way it is. That's what makeup is, that's what beauty is all about. What works for you won't work for the other person and we just have to like get along with our lives. My advice is that if you see a product that you were thinking about getting and you were like oh no hold the thought remember this video but then also go online have a little look and look for more reviews because you can get more of a feel for a product based on a few different reviews this is just my experience with the products myself okay let's go okay, first up this is the hourglass vanish seamless finish liquid foundation i wanted to love this so much because i love hourglass i've tried so many other products over the years and when I heard that this was coming out, I was like, what pair? I never really got the stick foundation because they don't really suit me. Um, and I, when I tried it on the back of my hand, I thought that it was a bit thick. So obviously the concept of this is that it's supposed to give you high coverage finish. Um, you don't need a primer, you don't need to set it. Um, you just need to apply like a half a pump, they said, and kind of dot it on your face and then work it in with either your makeup brush or your beauty sponge. And that's it. Um, that's just that it didn't work for me. I did what they said and I used a half a pump and I like would dot it around and I would go like that and initially the finish was beautiful I looked gorgeous um, and I remember the very first day I tried it I was like right I'm gonna give this a go I didn't put any primer on underneath and I applied the one pump or the half a pump dot it all over my face and then I powdered one half of my face and then went to work I went to the bathroom and I was just, all I was aware I looked like I was sweating like sweating the ditties off myself with this on um, and I was like no I'm not going to do anything I just go to continue on and I would go back downstairs and I'm like girls look at my face look at the shots that's coming out of my face I looked like I was melting but still I was like no I'm not going to do any touch ups whatsoever I'm just going to see and then as well as I think I was itching my skin I just went like that okay and then I went about my life and then I went to the bathroom again I was drinking my water so I had to go to the bathroom lots of times but also to look at my face and it had completely disappeared from um, parts of my skin so I think one of the claims is that it's like transfer proof not for me. It transferred everywhere except for my face. And then as well, I found, I have pores, like kind of big pores here that like I sometimes use for storage. Like there are foundations that just smooth over them and they don't look as kind of in your face or on my face. And um, But with this stuff, they seem to collect in there, in those pores, just sit and waiting. So if I was going out after work um, and if the foundation had moved, like I could have used what was in there to do the rest of my face. It was just, I'm raging because I wanted to love it. Um, and I know some of the girls that went to the breakfast thingy, they really like it. It just doesn't work for my skin at all. I will get, I'll give it more goes, but it's 60 euro lads. I was like, that's a lot of money for a foundation that doesn't do, like it's, I should put this on and be like, look at my face, look at my face. But when I put this on, I'm like, oh my god, my face. Something that disappointed me, my heart and my soul, was that, that thing, what is it called? Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder Under Eye and Face. Soft focusing, light diffusing, loose powder. And this is shade one, fair. I love the packaging. I love that it has the little sifter thing that you can close thing. Like, you know, so the powder won't go everywhere. <laughs> oh my god the smell just does that to me oh it's just disgusting it is disgust the finish of the powder is so beautiful though and um, it has like not a pearlescent sheen but it definitely gives oh, you probably not going to be able to see it there it gives a glow to the skin so it's beautiful on but oh my god the smell just hurts my heart it smells like crayons. Oh, I don't want to smell like crayons on my face. I'm keeping it because sometimes I'll use it like if I'm stuck, but then I put it on and I'm just like, why? Because it goes in the air and then it goes in my tubes and then now. My all time favourite powder ever in life is that this one. The Charlotte Tilbury Air, what's it called? Flawless, no, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. That is my favourite of all time. Um, oh, I just didn't like that. I just feel weird when it comes to smells and stuff, do you know? I don't mind if something smells like nice. If it's like clean or fresh or floral or whatever, this just smells like crayons to me. Speaking of smells, oh my god. Oh. These are the Charlotte Tilbury Latex something. I'll put the name here. 
Um, so these literally just came out. I got sent them a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, oh my god, they're so beautiful. And there are six shades all together. I was like, I can't wait to get stuck in. And I picked out the one that I usually go for like a dusky pinky shade. Kind of like what I have on now, um, which is not one of those. And so I put it on. And as I was putting it on, I was just like, what? What? It was like, oh, it was just disgusting. It was disgusting. Um, so the applicator is very pretty. It's like a little pointy thing. I can't, I, I know. It smells like, it smells like plastic slash old lady. Um, somebody I know said that it smells like doll heads. <laughs> I don't know what a doll head smells like. This is very strong, very pungent. And like with the powder, I know that smells, but like that kind of dissipates like as the powder kind of settles on the skin. This doesn't go anywhere, like in terms of smell. The finish is gorgeous. If you really like that high pigment, full coverage, glossy, like bam, here are my lips, look at them. Um, you're gonna love that, but just please go and smell it. <laughs> my voice just broke, put it on the background and just go like that. Um, because, um, and like if you think about it, you know, if you're going about your life not eating or drinking and then your lip product is disappearing where do you think it's going in your face down your tubes and it, it's very stinky don't know what it's supposed to smell like and um, so I brought it into the girls at work and I was like please could somebody else just smell that and like some of the girls were like oh one of the girls loves them so I gave them all to her it's better that they go to a happy home but I was like can I just hold on to one for this video they're gorgeous on especially on my pal um, they look beautiful but it's, it's the smell and, the, and they just it's like a big it's like Vicks slash old lady Next up we have this from Giorgio Armani. This is the Power Fabric High Coverage Foundation Balm. And I have the Power Fabric Foundation, which I think is gorgeous. I actually bought that myself last year in the Duty Free. And it's fab for somebody who likes a high coverage matte finish, but without it being taken heavy. Um, I love that loads. This not so much. So this, it comes with one of those little spongy things, which I don't really use, but I did use it to try and apply this before. And then you lift up the lid and then that's the foundation brown on the inside. Now I'm not generally a fan of cream products anyway, like for cream foundations. I love cream um, blushes and bronzers and that. This one, I've kind of tried similar ones in the past and it reminds me of them in that it has kind of like an oily feel to it. And it goes on nicely, but I find that on my skin, it doesn't sit right. It's patchy, um, whether I use it with the makeup sponge or that little sponge that it comes with or a brush. I find that it tends to cling to any dry patches. And I don't really have that many dry patches, but when I applied it the other day, I had like little bits here on my forehead that I was just really aware of on my nose as well. When I was looking at myself properly in the mirror, I could see that there were patches where it just wasn't there. Like a dry to a powder finish. Um, I think if you have dry skin, I don't know if this is for you. If you have normal or oily skin, you might like that. But again, just be aware of it potentially clinging to dry patches. I just think it's one of those types of base that just doesn't suit my skin type. Um, because initially when I was putting it on, I was like, oh no, this is nice, this is nice. And then as I was trying to smooth it, it's like the pieces that I was smoothing, it was moving the product that I had already put down. Do you know that kind of way? Even if I bounced it on my skin, it just, yeah, it just didn't sit nicely on my skin. Anyway, I got sent a few bits from Miss Lynn recently and I was testing them out. And one of them was this Sweet Treat, what's it called? This is the Treat Me Sweet Powder Blush in the shade. Love you peach and every day. And you know me. I'm a fan of a peach blush. That's what it looks like. And I was like, oh my God, this could be so cute. And, and it, like, it looks like there's payoff, but it just doesn't translate onto my skin. I was using it in a video, what video did I do? Oh, the face full of first impressions. Um, and even though I had tried this before, I still wanted to use it in the video. Um, just cause it was kind of new to you guys. Just doesn't give me enough coverage, but it does give a really nice sheen to the skin. So if you're somebody who doesn't like to wear blush, but still wants to have like the hintiest hint of color with the sheen, then you're gonna like that. But not for, I just like to, I always over apply my blush. I love to be like, pyong, look at my face, look at my cheeks, aren't they lovely? Um, yeah, so I just wish that it was a little bit more pigmented, FYI. And then also in that same video of first impressions, which I will leave linked below, there was this yoke from Catrice. So this is the Catrice Glow Illusion Loose Powder Translucent Radiance Powder. I don't know what it's like because I can't get stuff out of the thing. <laughs> so it has one of them things, you know, the little, not a sifter, but the stuff comes out the holes and then you go like that. Now this is literally all that I can get out of it. 
that's it. Nothing else is cut. Like nothing else. Okay, hold on. Nothing. Nothing. And so then in that video, <laughs> I was actually losing the will to live because I was going like this and then I was properly banging it. So then whatever had come out jumped out of the pot and I was just like, I actually don't know. So that's not enough to do like that much of my face. So just the packaging has let it down. It has, you know, the little holes in there. I just wish I had a little twisty thing that you could kind of shake it out and then done some operation with that because I love Catrice. Um, and I think that I would like that if I could get the bloody stuff out because it looks kind of like nice, doesn't it? One of my recent disappointing products was this Glow To Go from Clarins, okay? And I think I did do a video showing all of the new products and there are some Whopper products. I have a couple of issues with this. So this is 29 euro, right? <laughs> Double-ended. That's all you get. very much product I just don't think that that's worth 29 euro in my opinion it's just very like 15 euro for each that I don't think so like I don't think I can't imagine people buying one of those for 15 do you know um but the product itself I don't like this color now that's just a personal preference this is a uh, very holographic I just would look like an absolute robot um but this color is beautiful and the formula is fab Look at that, that is like spring perfection. And it blends out really nicely, almost like a powder finish. It looks like a little ch of color. A ch <laughs> so I really like the finish of the blush, not mad on the highlighter, and I just think it's a little bit awkward. I think I said this in my video, that Clarence is kind of known for being, for like the older lady. Oh my God, am I an older lady? Because I like Clarence. I don't care, I love Clarence. Um, and I, I can't imagine my mom wearing this. Sorry, she's gonna kill me, but I just had to explain this. So this is the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara, okay? Dunk, that's what it looks like. I think I tried one of Charlotte's first mascaras that came out, and I really liked that. And it was like a drier formula, whereas this formula is quite wet. And when it comes to me and my lashes, I love my lashes to go up and out and curl and have lift and volume and separation and thickness and everything. I just want everything when it comes to mascara. With this, the formula is quite wet, so when I apply it, my lashes don't go up. I'm going to show you a before and after photo of my lashes. This I had this mascara on and this I had another mascara on, so you can see the difference. Because it's because this is a wetter formula, it, it just had my lashes going down ever so slightly upwards. I want, hello, how are you doing? I just love really wispy feathery lashes that just go... Those are some of the products that disappointed me recently. Like, there are some products that I'll just go... I just don't really have feelings either way. But I had some feelings about those ones, so I just wanted to let you know. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably will have known about some of these already, because um, I tend to kind of go over there. Um, but I hope that just gave you a little bit of insight. Um, I love doing these videos because they're a little bit of crack. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know in the comments below what products disappointed you recently, because I need to put them on my list of things to either try for videos like this, or to avoid, or to look up more, do you know? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.